Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you a grungy technique in Adobe Illustrator. Of course, there's like multiple ways to do it. And today we can explore one of those. Today, I want to share with you a really nice course that will teach you the basics of typography. I would like to introduce you to Daniel and Lucasio from Latino Type. Some of their clients are such as Apple, Starbucks and Converse. In this course you will learn the principles of typography like the anatomy of letters, stylistic coherence, format spacing, so you can design a modular alphabet in Adobe Illustrator. You will discover the special characteristics of an alphabet and also you will learn how these guys build a perfect alphabet efficiently. You will see how to design the lowercase letters all the way to the uppercase letters and finally the numbers. To find out more or click the link in the description and join the course. Now let's get back to our tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna explore two ways. Okay, so I got this vector letter. I'm gonna make it small and I'm gonna create a new copy and I'm gonna scale it up like this. Now we're gonna test it out how the grunges are going to affect a large vector versus a small vector. So I'm gonna go on this one, zoom it in on the small one and I'm gonna go to the effects, pixelate, and select the mezzotint. So as you can see, we got the fine dots here, we got the medium dots, and here in this windows, you're gonna see like how those dots gonna show up. Uh, we got the grainy dots, and we got the coarse dots. I gotta go with the coarse dots, they're a little bit bigger, you know, after applying all the settings, they're gonna get really small, so I can try it out with this one. Click OK. From here, we're gonna go to the object, expand appearance, and we have the image trace right here, click on it. And so far it looks like a mess. Uh, we're gonna go and click here on the image trace panel and also click on the advanced options so we can see all the options going on. So we got the threshold. You can decrease the threshold or if you increase it, it's gonna add more details. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like this. We're gonna test these in the advanced panel. We got the path. Now this is again adds more paths to it. So if I increase it to the maximum, you can see the anchor points is like 538 at the moment. If I decrease the path, as you can see, the anchor points are only 208 now at the moment. It, it made it more simple, you know, it removed a lot of anchor points and that way you're gonna remove a lot of details also. So I'm gonna increase it. We got the corners, 70%. If you decrease it, it's gonna actually make it more rounded you know if you decrease it it's gonna smooth out the corners which is really good and we got the noise finally so i think how i know like the noise is going to add more details i'm gonna increase it and it's gonna remove the details if i'm gonna decrease it there you go now it looks like really hardcore really rough like a concrete and i'm gonna increase it a little seven percent maybe nine Okay, this one looks pretty good. So from here, I'm gonna click here on the ignore white and this way, you know, because it used to have white background. So I, I, if I uncheck the ignore white, you know, it's gonna remain with the background. Uh, check it. And from here, we're gonna click on the expand. And now we're left with a pure logo. So let's go back. Let's go to the effects. What was that? Pixel, mezzotint corner dots right click ok go to object expand appearance and we're gonna click on the image trace yeah it's, if you zoom in you can see the dots you know the holes are really big now in this scenario they're like you know really small so i'm gonna also decrease the noise so on large surface like these dots are the same on all sizes you know so we got the threshold again more details, we got the path, corners, now we got the noise. So in this scenario, what I did is basically dec decrease the threshold to 88. So it shows more details and I increased the paths to 77%. So we got like 2,889 anchor points, which is a lot, but there's like, like subtle details, you know, all over the logo. So I'm gonna leave it like this, click on ignore white, expand. I'm going to scale this down to the same direction as uh, you know the other one is. And now we can compare these two bad boys. Check this out. So this was the small version. We got like big dots, uh, you know, these big holes in it. 
And now on the right side, we got like really small dots, you know, really subtle grunginess. You can, if I zoom it in, you can see how subtle they are like. Uh, this is one of the methods. Uh, in the next videos, we're gonna discuss more and see how other works also. For today, this was it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.